one. Right. Uh, right. So I'm here today with William Henderson from Adam Rossetti. Thank you very, very much for taking your time out to no talk to me. No I've got a few questions. Um, after I went to uh, ask you the question you answered, I'll ask you a wee bit more that's not on my sheet. Yes, I think. Right, so the first one, what got you involved with football? Probably say my dad. Um, growing up, uh, he used to play football all the time, so as a, a youngster he used to take me out when he could and he used to go to the park about half a seat, um, kick the ball out and then ended up joining Seaton Boys and from there I just, I just loved it and played at school and my friends and that so probably my, my dad got me into football. What inspires you? Inspires me to play football. Um, or just in general? general, just the love of the game, just enjoying football and see you scoring a go- your team score a goal or you score a goal, it's probably one of the best feelings in, in the world probably, like it's just such a great feeling and um, going to a game on a Saturday and building up the training during the week and just inspires you all the time to play, like never would know what to play football, always want to play football. Who were your football idols growing up? Oh there's a few, there's a few. Um Steven Gerrard's probably my biggest one. He was up there. Um I also used to love watching on YouTube when I was younger, Ronaldinho. He used to do all these tricks and that and try and practice some of these tricks in the garden. So they were probably my two biggest idols. Um Gerard and Ronaldinho, they were probably two biggest. What team do you support? I'm a Hibs fan, so. Yeah. Hibs fan. <laughs> hey, you want the Hibs, eh? So, Hibs fan um, and my English team would say Liverpool. And yeah. I love watching Barcelona. You try to copy him? <laughs> Is that you as well? Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. Football, then, eh? What was it like playing for Falkirk? Well, it was, it was good and bad at the same time because I was in the first team but I never really played much first team football so that was probably the downside but great, I had a great bunch of lads in the changing room and um, I got I got along with the staff, coaching staff so no, I enjoyed my time at Falkirk just at the end it kind of it didn't go as, as, I, as I planned to and I was quite annoyed at that so um, but that's in the past now but no it was, it was a good time playing for Falkirk, yeah I enjoyed it. Where do you see yourself in five years time? Oh, it's a hard one. Five years time, as in football perspective. Just any. Any, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, I need to have another good season. Try and try and get back into um, into full time if I can. Maybe maybe I'm too late. Maybe I'm not. So um, next five years, I maybe hope to see hopefully see myself in a full time team again playing regularly. So that's probably my biggest aim to look forward. What goals have you achieved or would like to achieve? Um, in football, football aspect and and it, um, well when I was obviously in, in school and stuff I wanted to play for a full time football team so I achieved that from from, from that uh, perspective and then coming back from Australia my goal was to get into the Edinburgh City first team and stay in so I think that I've kind of achieved that this season so um, there were two goals that I put my, myself to and then the one that I just said was try and get back full time so that's another one to try and achieve. What's the difference between playing for Falkirk and playing for Edinburgh City? Well, it's just that full time aspect. They're different. So, um, and when you're in full time, you're in Monday, uh, Tuesday, off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, games start Saturday. So, um, the difference is you're you're in more time training. Um, the the standard maybe sometimes a bit better as well. Um, but not, not, not a massive difference because um, you've got like like say George Walker, Craig Thompson, like Mark Laird, experienced players, and and um, Conor Balatoni. There's a, there's quite a few, and then with City's first team, so the difference isn't massive, but there's a, there's a difference from um, from that point of view, from the, the full time to the part time. Uh, yeah, so no, Edinburgh City. Don't get me wrong, it's, the training is good, and obviously I've worked under James McDonald. Um, at Forty Falkirk, so I know how the gaffer works in my city, and it's good. What was it like playing for Hearts? Is I ahead on Hutchie Bell? Oh, well, I started off. Um, I started off at a diner. Uh, 
I went with Scott Bonner, he took me when I was at Hearts youth level, when I was younger, um, he took me there and he, and he left and he, he wanted me to go so I left as well and I went with him at Diner, had a really good season and then I wanted to try something different so I ended up, I'm sure I ended up um, leaving and I actually played with my friends at Lonidri uh, Boys Club and it wasn't great, the standard wasn't great but it was just with my mates, I wanted to try something different, didn't really enjoy it as much so I ended up, went back to Hutchie went to Hutchie for the first time, um, loved it, stayed there for a good few years and then that's when I got my got a chance to play in um, the Hutchie first team, so Logan Fissel, so I got a chance to play in there and I played one game I remember and um, I got scouted from Hearts and that's when I moved to Hearts, so no, it was a good time playing, it was always good when you're that age and you've got no, not much pressure on you, you just go and play and yeah, it was a good time. Who's the toughest team you've played against? <sighs> toughest team I've played against? Yeah, it was hard to say, I don't played a few. I remember playing my first, um, my debut for for Hearts. Um, we played Livingston, first team at Livingston, we, ended, we got beat actually. Uh, that was a really that was a tough game. Another tough game, probably when I was playing for Hearts 20s, and we played Celtic 20s. But they had Scott Brown, um, they had Lustig, um, who was uh, Beaton playing, so Lee Griffiths up front. So that was a hard game, we got beat 2 1. But there's been a few, um, to be fair, but they're probably the two toughest that I've played. Who's the best player you've played with? Best player I've played with? A few again, I can't name one. Um, Sam Nicholson at Hearts, he's in America now. Um, Jimmy Walker, uh, Ali Mostock, um, Mark Kerr, Falkirk, Tom Tywo, Lee Miller, Josh Walker, Mark Laird. There's a few, there's, there's not really one that I can name, like just one, but no, I played with a lot of good players. Um, still am playing with good players, so. Would you ever like to play for Hibs one day? Ah, I'd love to play for Hibs one day, yeah, that'd be a dream come true. I played with Hibs young, young one, but it doesn't really count, does it? But I'd love to um, maybe get a chance, yeah, that'd be good. And so, where, what do you want to do when your playing career ends? Well, I'm doing coaching just now, so right. uh, with Josh Walker, it's his own business called Foot Forward Coaching, so um, when I came back from Australia, I, yeah, I've done a bit over there and he said I've got a, a job here so do you want to come and do that with me so I've done that ever since um, so maybe take that the coaching route um, get my badges and, and go down that way I think So what age did you first like, start playing football? Oh, what age did I start? Um, as soon as I could walk I think kicking a ball so my first team under 7s probably I think under 6 or under 7s so that's my first I've still got the phone in the house, you see the boys, we're all young boys, that's probably my first team. No, but from when I could walk, I was kicking a ball, I think. Uh, I've got to ask you, when you had the Scottish Cup final? I was there, I was actually, um, me and Joe were on the pitch, actually. So, uh, so uh, we were on the pitch, we got a photo together on the pitch. Uh, the first thing I'd done was phone my dad, because he's, he's been to all the finals with me when I was young, and he's like, I'm missing this one, we'd never win, so I'm going to put myself through it again. And the only one who didn't come to me won. Uh, so, uh, what a day it was, eh? Well, my dad used to say that I was a junk that cup finals. Uh -huh. So, he said, I'm not going, but all the way up in the car, I was like, I'll be 3 2 heads. Three two. Were you saying that? I was like, Stokes will score uh -huh. one or two. Uh -huh. But I What a day it was, eh? Oh, Beautiful day as well. Best day of my life. Austin, we uh, we um we went to the parade on the Sunday the next day, did you go, eh? Oh, and um I was at Falk at the time and just signed in they were they were in the playoffs as well. And they were playing Kilmarnock and I seen they had got beat and I was like, Oh no. But then it made it better because we were at, we were at the parade and just won a Scottish Cup final. I'm sure I flew to Na I Napa the day after I think as well, my mate, so one of the best years of my life as well, to be fair. Oh, it was amazing. I mean, we you, like, playing for Edinburgh City and Dallas Dean. I mean, I used to play for the disability squad. Mm. 
but in the 5th of June 2017 I had a stroke and I bleed to the brain before my 21st birthday and I had a 3% chance but don't know if I walk again. Yes. I mean I've always had a disability called Menin Syndrome. So with me, as the doctor say, pumped up different, that's what saved my life. Mm -hmm. Nice. No, so great. Well, I read the story, you sent me the link and stuff, and it's amazing that you've pulled through that, and you're still, you know I mean, doing the way and doing what you're doing, so it's, it's a big um, credit to yourself. Well, when I got a hold of it, is it out? Yeah, uh, yeah. I thought, I want to scum, if I could end up here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he went, right, I'll pass on the details yeah. here. And you text me, I thought, thank you. Yeah, of course not. I've never, um, never not do that. Like, it's something that you need to do, and I would do it a hundred times again, do you know what I mean? So, um, thank you for having me, and is there anything else you want to ask? Or? No, I think. No, good. Thank you. Press the stop button.